and um, well, we're only privileged to be even to be even able to stand by her side. So, you know, she's saying that she's proud of us. We're so proud of our mum. She's really, you know, she's paved the way for victims everywhere and she's actually changing the laws. You know, this is going to make a huge impact for every woman everywhere and every man as well because men go through abuse too. It's not easy to talk the way she did. First of all, what she's gone through, but there's a certain ability, uh, and I don't mean to um, judge someone, but there was an ability in the way she talked, in the way she got her message across. Where does that come from? Is it just the type of person she is? It is the type of person she is, but on the other hand, as myself and my mum try to explain to people when we tell them our story, is that this is almost normal to us. This is something we have always lived with. So for us to speak about it, we've been speaking about it for all of our lives. That you know, we've had nearly plenty of practice in a way of speaking about it and being able to remain calm while getting our, getting our emotions through. Now, I know my mum is finding it tough at the moment, which is why she's doing limited interviews and talks. But she will come out when she finds the strength and she's had a bit of rest and gotten over what happened yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. And people will, will want to hear from her. Can I ask you two quick questions, actually, that people have been asking us? Are the marches going ahead? Uh, what, they what, are indeed. In both Bray and Dublin, because this isn't only about yeah. Fiona Doyle. No, it's not just about my mum. Um, this is about everyone everywhere. Just as yesterday was for my mum and we have the whole public to thank for that. Tomorrow is just as for everyone. This is to change the laws so this never happens to another woman again. And your mum is going to meet Enda Kenny next week, midweek. She is. I'm absolutely delighted that he is going to do this. He seems to be a man of his word. I'm sure you will agree. Actually sitting down and speaking to my mum, you get a completely different frame of Mm. mind. You actually respect and appreciate her more. So I think for him to sit down and speak to her, he'll get a better understanding of what a life is for an abuse victim. And then maybe he will be able to stand up and say what is justifiable for a minimum sentence for an abuser. Your mum also yesterday, and one of the newspapers nails it, they describe it as a quiet vindication. There was no huge celebration and she told us again in the interview that we played out that she wouldn't be celebrating in in the means of the words uh, last night. But she told us that she paid tribute to her family and she spoke to her father and her mother and she told us it was very sad for her in one way to watch her father leave a courtroom being led away despite the horrible things that he did and she doesn't need to feel sad for him but that's the person she is she also spoke to your to your grandmother and said she, she has her family she has her children she has her husband and they love her that's it yes like at the end of the day my mum has lost her parents she has no parents now and we have lost our grandparents and my mum has lost siblings and family over this you know they were never there and we will move on without them. We don't want them in our lives. We definitely want nothing to do with our grandmother. She is just as guilty as our grandfather. Well, well she, 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 just to be fair, Crystal, I, I understand what you're saying. You don't want anything to do with your grandmother. Yeah. Um, c- can I just ask you just finally, um, I think your mother may be heard by a lot of people tonight. I don't know if I'm letting uh, the cat out of the bag and that, but for, for the family and being together and just looking after each other, have you planned anything or, or did you just sit around and have a cup of tea yesterday? I actually didn't get to see my mum yesterday, which I'm very upset about. Um, I've I've been working every day while trying to do all of this before work and after work for my mum and during my lunch break. And I don't live at home with my mum. Mm. So um, it was eight o'clock when I got home last night and my mum was really tired. So we are meeting up tonight. We are all going to go over to my mum's and have dinner and a cup of tea and, you know, watch her interview on the Late Late Show and spend some time with her. And on Sunday, my boyfriend has organised a family dinner where we can all just sit down and have a conversation that doesn't involve the case so we can just ask each other how we are.